In this tutorial, we'll create a daguerreotype vintage photo effect in Affinity Photo. This effect is derived from daguerreotype photography. This type of photography was created by and named after Louis Daguerre in 1839 in Paris. Daguerreotype photography was the first commercial photographic process of the 19th century. This process created highly detailed images without using a negative. Instead, the images were placed on a silver-plated copper plate. The plate was polished and cleaned until it resembled a mirror. After that, the plate was sensitized with iodine in a box until the plate had a yellow look to it. Then it was moved to the camera. An image appeared on the plate once the plate was exposed to light and developed over hot mercury. First go to File Open and select the picture of the man on the horse. Second, go to the Transform panel and click the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then select the picture and grab the Move tool. Resize the picture the way you see it on the screen. Make sure you unlock the picture in the Layers panel first. Go to File Open and select the Vintage Background and the Scratches Texture. They'll open in new tabs. Copy the texture pictures and paste them onto the document with the man on the horse. Make sure the Scratches Texture is at the top. In the Layers panel, turn the two texture layers off. Click the picture of the man on the horse. Then click the Adjustments icon and select the black and white adjustment. Turn the Ventures background layer on. We'll use this to act as the daguerreotype plate for the picture. Resize the image like you see it on the screen. In the Layers panel, change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. With the layer still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer, or right-click on the layer and select Duplicate. Set the blend mode of this to Multiply. After that, click the Mask Layer icon in the Layers panel. Make sure the mask is inside of the duplicated layer. We want to reveal the man's face. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Next, go to the Brushes panel. Go to the basic brushes and select the 256 pixel round light brush. In the context toolbar, set the flow to 25% and the hardness to 0%. Make sure the mask is selected in the layers panel. In the swatches panel, make sure the black color is active. Then take the brush and click a few times on the man's face to reveal it some. Now turn the Scratches layer on in the Layers panel. Change the blend mode of this layer to Screen. Then lower the opacity of this layer to about 40%. Next, we'll add the sepia tone to this picture. Sepia was often associated with monochrome pictures of the 19th century. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select the Recolor Adjustment. In order to get the sepia color, we will need to place the hue slider in the orange area. I set the hue to 37.7 degrees. Then lower the saturation. I set it to 45%. Also, I lowered the opacity of the recolor adjustment slightly, but this is optional. And this is how to create a daguerreotype vintage photo effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.